Good day grade 12s. My name is Viola from the Distinction Bound Student and I'd like to welcome you to Lesson 35 from the Distinction Bound Student Textbook written by Cardin Madzokir. Today's lesson is a continuation of a possible essay which started in Lesson 34. We will explore the supply reasons for international trade. We will however start our lesson by doing revision on homework activity 30 given in the previous lesson. Question 1. Justify level of income and development as reasons of international trade. 8 marks. Level of income. When income levels are high, aggregate demand tends to increase, which often creates a demand for imported goods. For example, someone in South Africa may be influenced by his high income to go for shopping in Dubai. Level of development. A country's level of development plays an important role on its consumption patterns. For example, a poor country tend to spend the majority of their income on basics, usually agricultural products produced locally, whereas, in rich countries, the majority of their income may be spent on international luxurious goods. Let us now look at supply reasons for international trade. The first one is that natural resources are unevenly distributed. Natural resources are unevenly distributed across the world. Each country has its own mix of natural resources that makes it possible to produce certain goods and services more efficiently and at a relatively lower price. This makes it impossible for some countries to produce certain goods. Example 1. South Africa can export seafood to landlocked countries like Zimbabwe because these countries have no direct access to the sea. Example 2. Saudi Arabia is one of the biggest exporters of oil in the world because oil is a natural resource which is unevenly distributed. Next suppy reason is that climatic conditions differ. Differences in climatic conditions between countries make it possible for some countries to produce certain goods at a lower price than other countries. In a water-scarce country like South Africa it is sometimes is necessary to import food. Many crops can only be grown in certain specific climatic conditions. Production of products such as timber, coffee, fruit, meat, maize depends on climatic conditions. Example. Brazil is the biggest exporter of coffee in the world because Brazil's climatic conditions are conducive for the production of coffee. Next supply reason is that labor resources are unevenly distributed. The quality, quantity and cost of labor differ from country to country. In certain countries labor is cheap and in some it is expensive. Some individuals have greater ability and aptitude for certain tasks. Some countries have developed and perfected a particular skill and aptitude for the production of a certain commodity therefore their skills will be imported. Some countries have highly skilled labor with high level of productivity and some have semi-skilled labor. Countries with skilled labor are able to produce certain goods than those with semi-skilled labor. Example, China is the world's biggest exporter, $1.904 trillion. It exports electrical machinery, data processing equipment, apparel, textiles, iron, steel, optical and medical equipment. These goods require highly skilled labor and high level of productivity. The next supply reason is that technology differs from country to country. Some countries have access to technological resources that enable them to produce certain goods and services at a low unit cost. Developing countries import capital from developed countries. The availability of equipment and machinery and other technological factors all influence the supply of goods and services and thereby contribute to cost differences between countries. Example, Japan, USA, South Korea, Germany, China, England, Russia, Singapore and UAE are some of the world's leading countries in technology. Next we have specialization as a supply reason for international trade. Specialization results from the division of labor. Given that each worker, or each producer, is given a specialist role, they are likely to become efficient contributors to the overall process of production and to the finished product. Hence, specialization can generate further benefits in terms of efficiency and productivity. Specialization can be applied to individuals, firms, machinery and technology, and to whole countries. International specialization is increased when countries use their scarce resources to produce just a small range of products in high volume. Mass production allows a surplus of good to be produced, which can then be exported. This means that goods and resources must be imported from other countries that have also specialized and produced surpluses of their own. When countries specialize they are likely to become more efficient over time. This is partly because a country's producers will become larger and exploit economies of scale. Example, 
South Africa specializes on the production of gold and then export to other countries and then import goods that we don't specialize in. The last reason for international trade is capital. Capital is expensive and therefore cannot be easily obtained in certain countries. Certain machinery may not be mobile or easy to move. Capital is not always easily obtained in every country. Developed countries have an advantage over developing countries. Due to lack of capital, some countries cannot produce certain goods they require. As usual we conclude our lesson with activity 31 on page 67. Question 1. Discuss labor resources and technology as reasons for international trade. 8 marks. That's it for today's lesson. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also hit the notification bell for you to get notified every time we post new content to our channel. We are also giving away the Distinction Bound Student t-shirts to people who buy more than 10 books. At the moment we have the following textbooks, Economics Grade 10, 11 and 12 plus Business Studies Grades 11 and 12. We are looking forward to adding more books to our catalog. Remember our books come in two versions, Complete and No Answers versions. Complete versions have answers and no answers versions do not. Thank you so much for your support. See you in the next video. God bless. Thank <laughs> you.